Dudes and Foxy Dudettes, today's topic is gonna be on finance. Now, I am not a rich man. I have used the services we're gonna talk about today, and there's been a lot of misconception about them lately, so I just wanna like pass on the good information and hopefully it can help some guys out. So, stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Uh, today's topic is gonna be on finance. If that's something that interests you, it's something we talk about here on occasion, please be sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel out. Please subscribe. We're growing, we're trying to get there. So that would help us out immensely. Now, I do have to say that I am not a professional uh, financial advisor, so this is just done for entertainment purposes. So, um, but that being said, Take what you hear with a grain of salt and we're gonna hop into it right now. So the two words nobody wants to hear when you say finance is budget and save. Uh, it may be old school, maybe boring, uh, but it is a necessity, especially in today's society. It may not be easy to do, but you should be doing it. Um, you know, we live in a society where you want what you want right when you want it. You don't wanna have to budget and save, you know, put money away for a rainy day. You don't want to uh, only spend a certain amount per week and be strict with it. You know, you may want to splurge and get extra toppings on your pizza, but you can't because it doesn't fit in your budget. Uh, it's important to stick to your budget and it's important to save. So we'll get that right out of the way, right? Um, but there are some other services um, that have come in handy, especially with the price of things, right? You know, just basic necessities is expensive. Uh, you know, the price of eggs, price of milk, food, gas, everything has gone straight up. Um, but sometimes you, you know, for other things that are not necessity, uh, those things have gone up too. And there's some other services that have come out lately that have helped. And I feel they get a bad rap, so I figured I would just talk about them today. So companies like Affirm, Sizzle, Klarna, uh, even PayPal is doing like a pay in four thing. Uh, those are services that I have used personally that have really come in clutch sometimes. Uh, they're not to be confused with like a payday loan. Payday loans are, in my opinion, very bad because you're, you're borrowing or spending money before you have it in your account. And, it gets messy because by the time it's coming due, you you know, you're just getting your check and you gotta turn it over. It's it's a mess. I would highly, highly recommend you avoid payday loans. But the other ones that we're talking about, they are to a benefit in my opinion. But let's break down how they work. So all of those companies that we mentioned, Affirm, Sizzle, uh, Klarna, uh, there are other ones. And like I said, PayPal does a pay in for service. And I, I keep PayPal separate. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, they all offer a pay in for uh, service. Now, what is pay in for if you're unfamiliar? Let's say you're going online and you're looking at, uh, let's say, a shirt from one of your favorite stores, okay? And it costs $100. I don't know why you would be buying a shirt that costs $100, but whatever okay costs a hundred bucks but you don't have a hundred bucks right but you need this shirt for whatever reason or you really like it or it's gonna for whatever reason you need it right then and there you can't wait okay budget and saving is important but again we talked about that already uh, but you need this shirt because either if you don't get it right then and there it's gonna be gone what have you okay so the store you bought it from offers one of those companies either Affirm, Sizzle, Klarna, PayPal, uh, and they will accept pay in four. Now, how does that work? So you add it to your cart, you check out like normal, except instead of entering your credit card information, you pick whatever service that they're offering or whatever one of your choice, uh, of the ones that we just named, they take you to their page and they approve you basically for a small loan. Most of the time, these loans do not affect your credit score, because just in case you guys don't know, every time you apply for a loan or apply for a credit card, there's a report to your, uh, to a, uh, your credit score. It does affect your credit score. These will not do that. So if you're approved, they give you a pay-in-for deal, meaning 
they'll break the payments up every two weeks you'll owe $25 but your first payment will be right then and there so you have to you know we said a hundred bucks let's pretend there's no tax so $25 you're gonna owe right then and there then in two weeks you will owe another 25 two weeks after that another 25 and then two weeks after that another 25 so you'll pay it off a lot of times these come with no interest and I think for something like that if you can afford it it's a great option you just have to be responsible enough to know that you know for the next six weeks you have a $25 payment that's coming due um, and honestly I've used the uh, paying fours a lot I don't think it's a bad idea or bad concept I think where people get in trouble is they'll say okay I can get the shirt and they pay the $25 but then they'll look at something else and do a pay in four and next thing you know you have three and four coming due and all on the same day or same time or in the same pay period because you know if you get paid once a week and you've just made three pay and four purchases over the course of that week all that's coming out of your your paycheck you know in that in that week so it gets to be a little tricky there uh, that's but that's ultimately the responsibility of the person who's making a purchase uh, you really got to you know remember that that money is gonna come due you know there's that saying like just because you can do something doesn't mean you should and that really applies to this scenario uh, it's just about being responsible now PayPal aside a firm Klarna and sizzle they will give you the option to extend the payments over 12 months depending on the size of the purchase you know the, the if it's a big big purchase you can break it up over 12 months um, but interest then will be charged on that but it's usually not a lot especially compared to like a credit card uh, sometimes it's kind of close but you know you have a set time that you're paying that off so you know you're not gonna be sitting on that for years and it's personally I think it's better because you know you have a smaller loan that you're paying off that you know is gonna be done in a year again it depends on the size of your purchase um, and it'll break it down to your minimum monthly payments because you can always pay more and there's no uh, fee for paying off early but it's almost a better option because you know you're gonna pay that off in that amount of time if it's a larger purchase something that's like over a thousand dollars or or such um, and depending on the company you're making the purchase from they will break up the payments into even like you know 36 months so like three-year loans um, and personally I think the interest is you know still much cheaper than a credit card but should you be doing that well it depends you know if it's a necessity something you need I say then go ahead and do it just remember you know now you've got you know a certain amount of money you have to pay every month for a year uh, and it depends if if it's something important that you need right away that can't wait I had to make a purchase of a mattress a couple of years ago um, the old one I had it was affecting me for work like I couldn't sleep right I was waking up in pain with my back uh, and I knew it wasn't like you know just like regular back pain it was because I wasn't sleeping right and on a crappy mattress something so I had to get a mattress and as soon as possible and that was the only way I could do it so it did help me out in a pinch and if it's something that you need in a pinch that's what these services are good for um, like I said I've been hearing a lot of people confusing them with payday loans and saying that they're no good I don't think that they're no good I just think people have made the mistake of uh, just doing too many you know like like I said you, you break down a hundred bucks in the four payments that's oh well, that's 25 for the next you know over you know two months right and then they go oh well I got that oh, you know they forget now I'll, I'll just buy this too and then now you have like eight of them to keep track of it comes down to personal responsibility so again 
just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. But if you need something, if there is a certain item that you feel you can afford uh, over time, uh, it's the way to go if you need to. Now, on the flip side, a lot of people will say, if you don't have cash in hand, that means you can't afford it. But I'm here to tell you, there's no shame in it, especially in today's economy, because things are just so expensive, it's hard to keep up, and it's just how it is today. All right, guys, I hope that that helps a little bit. I hope maybe it at least helps one person who might need a, just a little bit of time to pay for something. I know those services have helped me out immensely. And probably if, if they weren't around, I probably wouldn't be here because it's how I was able to uh, pay for my trip to get inspired at Menfluential. Uh, you know, at the time I just didn't have all the money to, to go on the trip and I really wanted to go and I could afford it and it was the best money I ever spent. Uh, and I paid it off early too. It wasn't like I sat on it for, for a year or whatever. I was able to pay it off early. I just needed a little bit of time. So I hope that helps somebody. And uh, I'm curious to what you think. Let me know down in the comments. And with that being said, Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Ring the bell. Be sure to check out the wellroundedude.com. The website is really the hub of everything we do here. Uh, you'll find, you know, the Amazon merch page. I'm combining things now. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> the Amazon store page, which is filled with a bunch of items I curated that I think would help you out in your everyday life. Uh, you will also find the merch page because it's two separate things. <laughs> um, where you can find well-rounded dude stuff and save a little bit of dough with Dude15. Uh, that'll save you 15% and uh, just a whole bunch of cool stuff on there, guys. So with that being said, I will see you guys later. Take care. Again, I hope this helps somebody, and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Peace.